the season is still far from over, but this weekend's your final time running down the hill. Just what are some of the emotions going through your mind as you approach your final home game? Um, every mo emotion imaginable. Um, anxious, excited, um, nervous, happy. Uh, the list goes on just because um, I had such a long um, journey here and to know that pretty much coming to an end, this being the last game at Death Valley, um, there's so much emotion going into it, so, but most of them I'm really excited. I mean, with the win, you guys become the winningest senior class here at home ever. I mean, does that add a little bit to the fuel going into Saturday's game that, I mean, you accomplished so much, but you can just add up one more record to the resume? Yeah, it's crazy because every year, um, me being the younger guy and getting older each year, I feel like that's a, um, a goal that's achievable by every senior class. Um, going forward, and uh, that's credit to this culture and the team and what's been done here over the past couple of years. But um, it's definitely a little bit of motivation. Dabo was just saying earlier how proud he was of this team. He knew it was going to be a different kind of year coming in. He's had a blast coaching you guys. What, what's been different about the chemistry overall now that you don't have the number of superstars really that you had last year as far as some of the bigger names? Um, we had to really just rely on each other. Each other and believe in each other and that started um, after the last the last national championship you know we came in and when you're looking around you don't have those you know big name guys per se but um, you know we knew what we had and we believed in each other and um, that, that just went along with how hard we worked in this offseason and just um, just witnessing each other putting the work and just believing in each other and our capabilities and being able to play at a high level that we knew we were able to even though a lot of people thought highly of this team, have you guys still had a little bit of an underdog mentality this year? Because there were a lot of people that thought the NC States or the Florida States or some of these other schools might unseat you from the uh, Atlantic Division title. I mean, absolutely. Um, we knew people were counting us out. Um, and to be honest, there's probably a lot of people that didn't think we'd be this far. Um, Clemson being 9 1 right now with um, the amount of injuries we've had and the people we haven't had return, um, everyone counted us out. And I mean, we're aware of that. But uh, we didn't let that get to us. We knew our, our worth, and um, we just took it that way, game by game. If you had to walk into the room with the college football playoff committee and sell your season as a whole on them, how would you sell your resume and your team's resume and your body of work? Um, I mean, I would just tell them to cut on the tape. You know, um, we play a lot of good teams, and we played a lot of good teams tough. And, you know, the best team doesn't always win in college football, and that's a good thing about college football. But the game that we did with Brazil, um, you see a team that played with um, a will to win, and um, that's really all you can ask for in a football team. Do you think up to this point, I mean, with what you guys have accomplished, the nine wins, winning the Atlantic again, I mean, are you even more proud of the fact that you win a national championship the year before and you guys were able to take on all challenges and all the, all the emotions and stuff that goes with winning a championship and handle it to get to this point? Um, I wouldn't look at, look at it as much as a challenge, as an opportunity, just to go out and show people um, what this program can do and the guys that we have on this team that we don't really pay attention to outside sources at all. We just control what we control and just put our head down and just work. You know, if we work hard uh, during the week, then our results will show on the weekend, and that's really all we can do. You ever feel the weight at times of, like, we're the national champions, we have to defend? No, we're not the defending national championship uh, champions. We're attacking national champions. Any doubt in your mind that you win these next three and you're into the playoff, or is there a little bit of anxiety that it does come down to a selection committee and not totally one on the field? Um, we're not looking too much forward about the committee and the polls and the rankings. I mean, if we lose this week, then we can kiss every hope and dream of the committee rankings um, get being ranked. So with that being said, we're just focused on Citadel, focused on senior day, um, playing with these seniors that I came in with and some of the guys leaving and just really sticking it day by day.